Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at acceleration due to gravity. So let's get started. Now, one thing that's useful to realize is that for an object in free fall, gravitational field strength is equal to acceleration due to gravity. And we can prove this shown by this exercise here. So it says show that g equals a, i.e. the gravitational field strength is equal to acceleration due to gravity for an object in free fall. So if we look here, it's quite straightforward. We can say that in free fall, weight is the only force acting on an object. And that just comes from the definition of free fall. This causes an unbalanced force on the object. So we can say that F equals ma from Newton's second law. But we've said that our only force here is weight, so we can say that W equals ma instead, just replacing the unbalanced force with our weight. And since we already know an equation for weight, W equals mg, we can replace this W with mg, so we get mg is equal to ma. Now you'll notice we have mass on both sides here, so we can actually just cancel those on both sides to get g equals a. And this tells us that gravitational field strength g is equal to acceleration due to gravity. Since gravitational field strength is 9.8 newtons per kilogram on Earth, that means acceleration due to gravity also has a value of 9.8, but just different units. So 9.8 meters per second squared for an acceleration. And this is really useful when we're doing things like projectile problems because we can think about objects moving downwards with an acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. Now I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualize this. So let's say we have a basketball and we're going to let it go from high up so that it moves in free fall. And we're going to observe multi-frame images of the motion. So if I click play here you'll see we have the motion traced out every 0.1 seconds. And you'll see the speeds we have, so 0 meters per second, 0 0.98 meters per second, 1.96 meters per second, and 2.94 meters per second. And we can conclude here that the velocity increases by 0 0.98 meters per second every tenth of a second, and this is equivalent to an increase of 9.8 meters per second every second, i.e. a constant acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared, which is acceleration due to gravity on Earth. But what happens if we replace the basketball with a ball of smaller mass, this golf ball here, then we can do the same again and analyze the motion. So if I click play, you'll see we get the exact same speeds every tenth of a second. So what is this telling us? Well, it says the acceleration of the golf ball is also 9.8 meters per second squared. If we repeat the experiment with the other objects, we find that they all have the same acceleration. The acceleration due to gravity g is the same for all objects. But note that this is only true if we ignore air resistance. Now at National 5 level, you will usually be ignoring air resistance, but in practice this wouldn't actually be the case, and less dense objects would get slowed down by air resistance. So we can see that it doesn't matter what size or mass the objects have, they're always going to accelerate downwards due to gravity at a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. If we ignore air resistance, that is. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.